have 30 boy <laughs> before I punch my monitor it's it, those talk awards are just so hilarious because they op they like go really weird to like make it entertaining but then they also like go left field and like bring games that you completely forgot because they're so mediocre you know <laughs> Here to greet you all at. <laughs> I don't know who she is, to but. Be my favorite holiday of the season, the 2023 Game Awards. <laughs> I don't know her. Eve, People were just Game cheering. The act is as full of excitement and celebration as the big event. Tonight, the Game Awards will celebrate the best in gaming from the past year. Are they okay, chat? More than a dozen new game announcements. Plus, the old gods of Asgard are here from Alan Wake 2. They take the stage for the first time ever. It is truly magical here, live at the Peacock Theater for gaming's biggest night. We are streaming around the world, connecting millions of gamers and fans, and getting you all stoked for our big show. But before that, it's time to get cozy with our very first world premiere of the night. Yes, let's hear it. It comes from a creator who has already claimed Game of the Year in the past here at TGA, but this time we're going back to the title that started it all for okay, him a just hang ago. Up. Here is the first ever look at a beautiful remake of Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, originally created by director Joseph Ferris. Oh? New game? It's giving me, like, Little Nightmares vibe. Never mind. Oh, shoot. It looks like it's a co-op, Brothers. A Tale of Two Sun remake. Oh! Incredible, oh. and how perfect that right after the world premiere of Brothers, we have the award for best family game. These are the games you played this game on together, my. You played this game on your apart, phone. Oh, on that's how dirty crazy. You play. It was a phone and game. And the nominees are Disney Illusion Island, Party Animals, Best Family Game, Pikmin Four, Sonic Superstars. And Super Mario Brothers Wonder. <laughs> Sonic Superstars. It's a family it game? Too. Holy cow. Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Of course, Super Mario's gonna win. Thank you so much for this award. Bro. This is shared. The fact with that Sonic was in the Nintendo list, that though. Super Mario that was kind of crazy. In my experience, <laughs> yeah, he the was really there tried waiting. to develop a game that allowed people to work together, to play together, whether it was friends or it was family. And for me, my personal <laughs> experiences, <just> nothing <laughs> brings a family together. More he was like, I'm here. To rescue Give me my award. An entire a, a kingdom in distress from the evil likes of Bowser. Whether you're playing, <laughs> whether you're playing as Elephant Mario, um, Peach, exactly. Yoshi, or Nabbit. This game goes to everyone that created such a wonderful experience. Thank you. She's like, I don't want your nasty microphone. Super Mario Brothers Wonder. <laughs> and now I have a little treat for all of you. Three world premieres in a row. <laughs> what? Just First up is the next game from Daniel Mullins, the creator of the TGA Honestly, nominated the moment game Mario was in that list, you bet it was going to win uh, that. Oh 
I wouldn't be surprised. Is name Bowser? Oh, is bro? I didn't even I didn't even pay attention to that. His name's actually Bowser. That's so cute. Mm, what's this one? Honestly, I can watch someone else play this game. <laughs> This? Wait, you're actually playing this game? Bro, it's a platformer. I kind of suck at platformers, though. Oh, inscription. What the heck? Pony Island 2? <laughs> what a funny name! Pony Island 2. It was Circus. What the My Little Pony Game. <laughs> a game or is this a show? I saw Netflix and I assume this is a show. You think this is a game or a show chat? The Rise of the Golden Idol. Netflix, Steam, PS5, PS4. Yeah. Oh, it's like a story. Yep, interactive game story. Among Us. Dun dun dun. It has that arcane look to it, doesn't it? That like League of Legends show. Oh. Heard of Benji? Oh? I thought it was a story game and then they showcase combat. What the heck? <laughs> they do speak Animal Crossing. <laughs> so she activates double trigger. 2025. You know, they're showcasing games 2025, the but we're only in 2023. Really you kids these days with your Where's the 2024 your games? Media. And speaking of social media, TikTok Live Fest is happening now across 50 plus countries on TikTok. Check out the participating ads. gaming creators and don't forget ads to share my all screen? of your favorite gaming heck? moments on TikTok with hashtag gaming on TikTok. Okay, we're going to take a quick break, but there is plenty more opening act after a very important Bro, message. that was just Don't five minutes. Wait, people. has it been five minutes? It's just been ten the minutes. The journey ended here. A place of wonder and awe. We breached Have the a cosmic nice veil fallen. and reached a new planet. Yet generations later... Oh god, this is getting untamed. excited. Our reunion was what foretold. I saw Our anime paths girl. Destined to cross. I'm here for you now, administrator. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm interested. Yeah. 
Yo. Cute girls. Flashy combat effects. Uh, Arc lights. Oh shit. Oh. And field. Oh man. the Arknight anime out yet? I haven't heard of it. I feel like if the Arknight's anime is out, there would be like a big like hype around it, you know? Like, I would hear it everywhere. But so far, I haven't heard anything. Crunchyroll then. What is this? Is this some Reclaim wow thing? What humanity has lost. To venture forth into darkness and bring the light of the Emperor to the uncharted void. Oh, it's those tactical kind of games. Heretics, yeah. And it, it definitely looks like Warhammer. Did you know? Warhammer is like... Open. Like, you can make a game... And you can call it Warhammer. You know? And you won't get like... Yeah, Warhammer 4000 Recreator. It still has rules. I mean, it does have rules, but like... Not as... Today, you are to see a strict to the as others. Hang by the neck. Another Assassin Creed? Oh my gosh! Who would have thought? I'm in search of a treasure. <laughs> Where do I start? In VR. Day on the canals with my good oh, that'd be... Kind of cool. What could be better? Flatter me as always, Antonio. In the end, the Templars will succeed. Bro, Assassin's Creed and VR is definitely something that is pretty cool. Because then you get to be on top of buildings. Obviously, if you're like afraid of heights, don't play it. But man, you can jump from really tall buildings. I actually tried that out, even though I don't like Assassin's Welcome Creed. Welcome back to the True. 2023 Game Awards opening act. I'm still until you feel <laughs> it being very comfortable. This time for innovation and accessibility. The gaming community is massive, is but honestly, it should be even bigger. And these nominees are pushing gaming beyond its current limits. Their teams have created software and hardware that make it possible for people of all abilities to experience the medium of gaming. With accessible features and technology How about stabbing that get us people one step as you jump to down play for everyone. These nominees are doing the work, and they are Diablo 4, Innovation Forza Motorsport, Hi-Fi Rush, Marvel oh, Spider-Man 2, <laughs> Mortal Kombat 1. Oh my gosh. And Street um, Fighter 6. And the game I goes say... to Forza Motorsport. Who? <laughs> so much uh, for this. Um, since this category was introduced several years Forza ago, Motorsport. a dramatic shift in the whole industry toward making games more and more accessible. Isn't that a racing this, game? This amazing nominees, it just really drives that home. Um, at this point, Bro, the height difference I, I think is we've ridiculously the most big racing too. Game ever She's like shoulder length. Across the ability and vision spectrum, including totally blind players. But really, the real winners here <laughs> it's are so the players who have so many great games to play. None of this would have been possible without the amazing teams behind the scenes. Big thank you to our audio team for their tireless effort 
championing for accessibility right? and making this game the best that it can be. Big thank you to the UI team, like, to our studio leadership team, our accessibility, accessibility meaning that leadership it's... team. And last but not least, Brandon Cole for being our uh, accessibility Easy to access, partner for the last two years. Like... We're really proud of the work that we've been able to do. So thank you very much. Is that is it a mobile? Is that is there a game on mobile? Congratulations, Forza Motorsport. <laughs> Here at the Game Awards, we believe strongly in accessibility and want to celebrate any game that makes it a priority. And our next get developer, it. the Odd Gentleman, believe that by making their games and their company accessible and inclusive, they can develop new types next. of gameplay with stories that everyone can enjoy. They created the following game in a deep collaboration with artists and developers. Ah, from the okay. We are very excited that makes to sense. reveal it now. This is Harmonium the Musical. <laughs> no, no matters. <laughs> Damn, dreary, brutal. Jeez. An accessible music journey. Interesting. Yep. Then be careful with I don't like that much racing games unless it's like Mario Kart in like the arcade and I can like sit down on the arcade and like watch as my friends' faces contort in anger as I beat the living heck out of them with turtle shells. <laughs> That's the only time I find joy in racing games. <laughs> Cringe music. <laughs> you guys are so brutal. It's a musical and it's Netflix. I don't know how much better gaming can get. What happens past a golden age? Platinum? Is this the platinum age of you gaming? You can type dice also, of cringe and then you platinum. can you like can it. have the emote. <laughs> and now I have the honor of announcing the winners for our five esports categories. The nominees for best esports athlete are Esports. Faker, the only Demon one I know Hydra, out of all that Ruler, is Faker. And Imperial Howe. And the game award goes to Bro, <laughs> that's the only one I know. <laughs> For best esports coach, the nominees are. There's coaches. Potter, I don't Sonic, know any of Gunma, those. Oh my gosh. Ecstasy, and homie. <laughs> and the game award goes to Potter. For best esports event, here are the nominees. Oh my gosh, it's definitely League gonna be League of Legends. Blast TV Paris Major. Which one against the? Evo 2023. The International Dota 2 Championships 2023. It's definitely gonna be and League of Legends. Valorant Champions 2023. And the game award goes to 2023 <laughs> League of Legends World Championship. Bro. For the best esports game, the nominees are Counter Strike 2, League of Legends, Dota 2, <laughs> League of Legends, PUBG Mobile. Anything with League of Legends and the is game award goes like. To Oh shoot! Never mind. And I finally, got put in my the place. The best esports team are Evil Geniuses, Fnatic, Gaming Gladiators, JD Gaming, and Team Vitality. And the game award goes to I don't know. JD Gaming. Here's congratulations, everyone. I love esports. I'm a huge esports fan, just like my Whoa, father. Oh, I know. We Goodmans are a huge esports Bro, fan, dating e all the way back to the mid 1800s. It's like, but before you can think too hard on that, it's time that, for another when, two uh, premieres. Remember First, that time when esports was like made fun of? Back in 2017. So I think it's still made fun of. <laughs> this is windblown. <sighs> it's like, 
anything with mobile will always make it into the awards. I think they should have their own separate awards show so they don't have to suffer Diablo moments. <laughs> that is true. Mobile games are like on another level. <laughs> like, bro, there's Diablo Mobile, there's Devil May Cry Mobile. <laughs> like, anything can be mobile games these days. What is this? It looks like a co op game. Like, I got no friends to play co-op games. Can't show me these things like I'm gonna play them with friends. Pass. <laughs> right? This is like some... Dragon Ball looking thing. Kill it <laughs> Wish list now on Steam. I don't get it. What's Thumper? Bro, I would get like, <laughs> I would get like light flashes from staring at this too long. What the heck? <laughs> Bro, my eyes would actually like spasm if I stared at this too long. The result in the name of the crawling monster from... Oh no, I would get a seizure if I played this. <laughs> In VR. Epileptic <laughs> stroke incoming. <laughs> right? Actually, epileptic stroke. Yes, Thrasher, in case you didn't know, is from the same artist slash composer that blew our minds back in 2016 with the cult hit Thumper. I'm so excited we've got another mind bending game coming from now. him in 2024. Special shout out to Samsung and Samsung Gaming Hub, who, not to brag, are also Samsung has a, a gaming hub? Viewing party what? Over at Samsung's Since when? New York City flagship location with typical gamer and what Chica. The heck? I wish I could be at two places at once, but the last time I tried to clone myself, I sparked a pretty sizable fire in the MIT experimental physics. <laughs> Chat, so she's so funny. Later. She's Let's so quirky. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I actually didn't know there was a Samsung gaming hub. I have all these Samsung devices. But bro. <laughs> Just like every big tech is joining in the gaming environment. Yeah. Honestly, they are. They're like gamers are where the money's at. Sheesh. They just showed somebody get murdered. Good morning. And then all of a sudden, a Let's regular begin. high school life? Sewing is my life. Last one. Persona? Now that's what I'm talking about. Moonwalk. Is this Persona? Ooh, a new Persona game. <laughs> That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone who roams free outside the coffin. Ooh, a remake. It's our job to Might be. Them. Pretty exciting, huh? Persona. Oh, <laughs> roll credits! Next. Try to fight when you know it's hopeless. In fact, 
I don't even really have a good reason to live. For me, or you, or anyone, just simply existing gives our lives meaning. I like the I like the music. We are not giving up, no matter how long it takes. To me, this is what it means to live. Oh, Persona 3! I mean, if you think about it, Persona 4 hasn't been that long ago, you know? And obviously Persona 5 hasn't been that too long ago. Yes, I was hoping for a new Persona. A new Persona game, that is. I still want to be Sydney. But enough about me. Make sure to stay tuned as <laughs> She's Google so and quirky. the Samsung Galaxy uh -huh. Z Fold 5 are bringing you a spectacular celebration of mobile gaming. It's going to be an epic <laughs> event just like this next world premiere. It's the product of a surprise team up between two nominated games tonight. Let's check it out. Ooh, okay. Dave the Diver! <laughs> It's like a platformer of Subnautica. big show the theater is filling up behind me it's hard to hear myself think over all the excitement but i have to keep it together because i have the next award ready to go here are your nominees for content creator mm -hmm. of the year iron mouse yo iron mouse Quackity, is actually Spring, here iron mouse is gonna win Cypher PK. oh yo iron mouse and the game award the goes to iron mouse yeah Oh so, my god, let's Iron go! <laughs> Iron Mouse is animated. And yes! The Matrix yet, but she did send us a message. Take it away, Iron Mouse. Oh my gosh! I'm so incredibly honored to have been the recipient of the Content Creator of the Year Award. First and foremost, I want to express my deepest heartfelt gratitude to the incredible community that has gathered around my streams. And I also want to extend a very special thanks to Vishojo, who brings all my ideas to life. Thank you so much to my team that helps me every single day. Aww. And thank you so much to the Game Awards. I still can't believe this is all happening. Thank you again, everybody. Congratulations! Yes! Okay, oh my we're gosh! So close to the big show, but I'm not all the other go uh, what is it? No, I'm not Options I'm just stood no chance with Iron Mouse, bro. And let's be real, they stood no chance. World premiere, 15 years in the making. <clears throat> Because she would have won too easily. <laughs> True. No worries. No worries. She was it. She's like one of the VTubers who really, um, who really kickstart VTubing. You know. So she really deserves all the love she gets. <laughs> Yes, particularly in the EN side. Like, it's kind of like one of those OGs who took all the backlashes of starting up VTubing, right? And that's why VTubing is how it's as popular as it is now. I don't know, it looks like a building looking thing oh, China is for the most part against VTubers from what I heard Honestly, I can see that because you don't see 
that many Chinese VTubers. I'm just saying. Like, with clips and all that it's stuff? satisfying to watch. Almost as satisfying as the Game Awards show that's minutes away. We have one more huge world premiere, a brand new fantasy RPG from the creators of Persona 3, 4, and 5. And Ooh. tonight, they're giving us a glimpse into the story, characters, and gameplay. Let's do this. A new game? I'm interested. It's a story about a world very different from ours. It is a world where all people are equal and no conflict exists, much like the world His Highness once dreamt of. To put it another way, this is a fantasy. The fool of a king is dead. Without an heir to wear the crown, what will become of the royal magic? Oh, the fortress of open. The was raised by a human mere days ago. You can only blame your king's weakness. Who deserves his crown? Oh, no, no, no. It's still. The people of my land um, a new is it turn based? Yeah, doesn't it look interesting? I was gonna say it was like open world combat, but it's still, it still looks like turn based. Their speeches of tribal harmony mean nothing when every day they cheat and abuse us. It is very much Persona, right? But it looks like a new story with Persona style. Our lives are decided at birth by tribal purity, or by the differences that make us who we are. There was a plot in his life. Oh, I wish I'd written it sooner. You're no ray of hope. You gave up on your hopes. Man, the music's giving me chills. Let's do it. You'll be a hero. Trust me. Okay, my friends, that is it for our opening act, but we are very far from done. Our big show is about to begin. That's a vibe. Don't worry, this isn't it the last is. you'll see of me. I'm staying all night, baby. And I cannot wait because this show is absolutely stacked. We have tons of big awards, even more world premieres of brand new games, and an incredibly special guest, a legendary actor and performer of both the stage and screen, the Muppet himself, the great Gonzo. I have to admit, I'm freaking out. Oh. I'm completely starstruck. Wait. And get this, the <laughs> you guys know who Gonzo is? Maybe Fallout I'm just... Franchise is here I live under a rock. An exclusive new look at the series. The vault is opening in a huge way tonight. Yeah, I am looking at the faces okay. in the background Thank you all too. Thank going on this journey with me. You're the best companions a host could ask for. Let's do the boss level. <laughs> the 2023 Game <laughs> Awards starts now. Nice. We all live under rock. Welcome to the Game Awards 2023. Woo! Now, here is your host, the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff Keighley. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Game Awards. Tonight is our 10th TGA, a global celebration <laughs> of video games, and boy, do we have a show for you. I am so excited to get this started. Together, we are going to recognize outstanding creative work in games in 2023, and we'll look into the future with an astonishing lineup of world premieres. Ooh. More than anything, this is a show about bringing our community together in this room and online around the world to focus on something we can all agree on. There's nothing more what's, powerful, what's that like, more immersive YouTube than meme? an extraordinary video I am video so game. proud of this community. <laughs> Great games comfort us, help us understand different perspectives on the world, and maybe even change that's, us. That's, that's what makes this medium different. Games, the actual things we play, are insanely special, and we're going to celebrate that for the next few hours. And we've got such an amazing group of people with us. They're built by talented creators and teams, and many of them are here tonight. <laughs> Thank you for the Game of the Year in 2017. Oh, Good oh luck shit! Tonight. 
One What's his name? I forgot. I know his face, forces. though. Mark Cerny, PlayStation's lead <laughs> system architect, celebrating 25 years of Cerny Games. Thank you for being here, Mark. Of course, the team behind Pizza Towers here, too. Oh my gosh, Pizza Tower? Whoa! <laughs> Wait, has anyone Everyone's played Pizza here. Tower? Is it good? Melina Jurgens, our best performance winner in 2017 for Hellblade. Welcome. I think we'll be seeing you a little bit later tonight. <laughs> and we are also honored to be joined by the Tujimoto family. The pizzas Haru are Rioza, good, aren't they? Yeah, pizzas are good. 40 years of Capcom this year and a Game of the Year nomination for Resident Evil. <laughs> Welcome, guys. It's so great to have Aye! you with us. Now, we have a big show, so let's get right into it. To present tonight's first award is last year's winner of Best Performance. Please join me in welcoming back to the Game Awards, yep, we're gonna do it, the actor behind Kratos in God of War, Christopher Judge. Hey, yo, man. Can't tell me, like, his voice isn't hot. His voice is hot as Kratos, that, like, deep grunt, oh, you know? <laughs> Bro, yes. Oh, what a card. Good evening, everybody. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> oh, Dad. such a pleasure to be back here. I have such great memories of last year, <laughs> Mr. Pacino, forgetting to thank my wife. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> all right, all right, I get it, I get it. He's so cute. I'm gonna. He's actually stand cute. Stand up here, making long speeches. I'm gonna stick to the script. No eight-minute speech like last year. But fun fact, my speech His was voice, actually though. longer than this year's Call of Duty campaign. What? Wait, what? I didn't hear him. <laughs> uh, another company I'll never work for. Uh, <laughs> I'm here to present the award for best performance in a year of games, beloved by audiences and acclaimed by critics. These actors delivered six unforgettable performances. And here are the nominees. Best performance. Ooh, let's get revenge. Final Fantasy 16, baby! I did hear Star Wars is good. <laughs> did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? Wake has a double. My name is Baldur's Gate 3? Oh. Spider-Man 2? I'm the hero here. Really? You encountered Whoever performance wins, issues? Jeff has given me the okay to say. Take as long as you want to. Thank I... everyone who's ever meant anything in your life. <laughs> and I dare you. I double dare you to try to break my whack record seven minutes ago. I think it's seconds. Cyberpunk. And no. the award goes to... Star Wars? Neil Nubar. Of course! Oh, damn. I bet you. I bet you Baldur's Gate 3 is gonna just win so many awards. Hi. This is unreal. Um, I just wanted to say, I know I don't have much time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's unreal. Uh, so, no, thank you so very, very much for everybody that voted. Thank my incredible uh, fellow actors and the nominees, unbelievable yeah. talent. To be even He's considered definitely... amongst you is, is extraordinary, so thank you very much indeed. 
it's when it's Zemarian really to cute writers, to be to Rui, honest. The writer of Astarian. Uh, yeah. So I'm forget everybody. Uh, to uh, Pit Stop, who worked so hard, the directors, my fellow actors, 248. The company actors that really soul. just came uh, out of Mi nowhere Pemilia, and Gatias, dropped this Paratodos, bomb ass Gatias, game. Gatias, and, and they're like to my agents i will thank you later yeah, i'm sorry i feel I'm like they're a up, humble apparently. company one thing so, i will say please know. that's okay the community has reached out to so many of us at larian and said they were seen and they were represented by this game when they lost hope they felt isolated they felt alone and this game brought them together and gave them something Aww. to push through to help them all and to you i want to say thank you I so want to much give for seeing us hug. i appreciate it <laughs> None of us are. Thank you. Man, it's like my hands are shaking. Congratulations, Neil. Great speech. The it's community short, was, uh, but they're, they're like small. Come, but now like it's time to look I haven't even heard of Baldur's Gate Let's get to those world until three drop. You know. Our first one. It's an incredible thrill to introduce a true renaissance man. Please welcome Academy Award winning <laughs> Yeah, exactly. New York Times best-selling They were author, like... Matthew McConaughey. They had a niche group, you know? How are we doing? Hey, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you all for having me. Now that's a sounder. Good to be here. What's up, everybody? Good to be here Yeehaw. with you at the Game Awards. <laughs> And I was going to come out and I was going to say the line that has preceded me on my career. All right, all right, all right. But they told me, they said, no, 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 don't do that. Come out and say, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> all right, we'll see. You. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm here tonight because I have a world premiere for you from Austin's own Archetype Entertainment. I'm also here tonight because the video game that I'm premiering is the first ever video game that I'm a part of. Yeehaw! Yay! <laughs> when the Archetype team first reached out to me, I was excited about becoming a part of the gaming world, but what really turned me on was when they shared the game's vision and my role in it. I will be voicing... Bro, it better be a game, cowboy and game. All I can say is that I will have a unique relationship <laughs> with every player. In this game... He better Time be a cowboy. Moves differently. Days for you are decades for your loved ones back home. The choices that you make not only affect the people that you love, they'll also affect your entire civilization for generations to come. Now, personally, I have had some experience with time dilation. <laughs> now you can too. So now I am proud to share the first ever look at Exodus. It ain't the Yeehaw game. Sheesh. I'm disappointed. Max, we need to head back. Hold on, I'm getting a reading. Max! Wait. Max! Wait, hang she on. Found that day. It looks like a salvation to fight against the celestials oh humanity's greatest enemy this is it they found us us until they rip honestly it apart. does look cool and I had to save her I led them away from this world away from her we both Most... knew the cost of using the gates when you travel at light speed time slows to a crawl it was only days for me I feel like but most space games pass for her And in the chaos of those final moments, we never said goodbye. No, Our horror games. Please, please, I love you. 
It looks like action shooter. Because our service. Our sacrifice. Rather than horror. A story action Seeds shooter hope. game. Breaks empires. We are the travelers. Yo, it looks so good. I'm not gonna lie, Chief. It does look really good. But... <laughs> right? That is a very exciting project, giving me some Mass Effect vibes, and I appreciate the team sharing the first glimpse of gameplay. Uh, at the end there looks great all right well now we're gonna go right on to another world premiere it's like a small quality dmc6 where bro if they came out with dmc6 i would be like so hyped oh would you look at that there he is master thyself the man the myth the legend tell me brother why exactly are we doing this Face this. No shame in what just happened. It's all part of the process. Let's go again. Dead? Dead? Oh, Valhalla, <laughs> let's go! Hey, bro! Ooh, free DLC? Bro, I do want Ragnarok on PC too. There's a very nice holiday surprise from PlayStation, Kratos and Mimir are headed to Valhalla in an adventure that blends God of War Ragnarok's combat with elements inspired by the roguelike genre for an emotional, unexpected, and fun, fun new twist. And yes, as you saw, it is free. The team at Santa Monica Studio... I was still playing that me too, bro. I still need to play God of War, Ragnarok, the first Valhalla God of War. As a gift to I still the need to play a couple of God of War games. It in just five days on December but I gotta finish 12th. DMC first. And then I, I'll... Head on over Amazing. to God of War. All right, switching gears. Our next world premiere comes from a small independent team of developers in Australia. <laughs> I love that this <laughs> If show there's can Assassin's Creed Valhalla, then there's creators. God their of War Valhalla. For definitely. And their next project is equally exciting and unexpected. True, that is a good marketing scheme. PS5 for Christmas. Another goose game? Have a good night, Jerry. Rest well. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, there they are. Oh no. Okay, it's not a goose game. I was gonna be like, bro, another goose game. Let's go. Newt Newt! <laughs> this game reminds me of that meme. Newt Newt! <laughs> Wood Ducky. Game for my friends, right? What friends? This is so cute. I can't. <laughs> oh, 
I'm gonna buy this for the jokes. Oh my gosh, you big, big walk. They look like ants. They look like the little toys Super babies fun, play. Right? I did a play test of that game about a year ago and had so much fun. It is a very special and unique game, and I'm honored we got to share it with you here at the show. All right, while you're watching TGA, head to tgasteamdeck.com right now. We're doing another Ads. Steam Deck Ads giveaway. It's a nice this time. stream. It's what new is this? One terabyte Steam I need Deck a bell. OLED featuring an HDR OLED display. Enter now only during the live show at tgasteamdeck.com for a chance to win one of 100 OLEDs. All right, trust me, we are just getting started, guys. There are so many game announcements, awards, and musical performances ahead, including the old gods of Asgard from Alan Wake 2. Just wait, it's amazing. We'll be right back. Oh? You know, I don't mind the commercial break for these. Bro, if once. Genshin wins, Bring you know what? I would be Bring like so flabbergasted because Genshin would be completely Strength. just like out of Tell nowhere. I feel I've this <sighs> Looks Carl, like Prince of uh, right. Persia. It does look like that, dreams. doesn't it? There's nothing you can do to stop me. Am I still alive? Hmm. You seem stronger, but not strong enough to save a friend yet. <gasps> Are you courageous enough and clever enough to save your friend? Bro, if that was how the combat was in game, I'll do whatever it takes. It would definitely be so cool. Prince of Persia, bro, you're so good. Whoever guessed Prince of Persia. <laughs> Did Legos make a new? Oh. I'm gonna go grab a drink of water real quick. Please welcome a former Game Award winner for Best Performance, Ninja Theory's Melina Jurgen. Hi. <laughs> Performing an original piece from our upcoming game, Senua Saga Hellblade 2, I'm proud to introduce to you to one of my favorite bands, Heilung. All right, I am back. 
Oh, is it? It's just Fortnite? And <laughs> Lego Fortnite? <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. Oh, I made it back in, term in time for like the performance. On the chat with them. <sighs> I've dreamt of this. <laughs> this place of fear and fury. Do you hear it? Beat of the lost ones. Wait, have you remembered how bad the sound engineer went to the trigger saw? And I can feel them on my skin. Longer I am online. Fates <laughs> Forget away. about being a forest weirdo. I'm slowly becoming a weirdo. Ooh, ow. How it's looking like you want the it reminds me of Forsaken, doesn't it? All the lives inside me tell me to let go. The shadow will always hang over me. <laughs> oh, sheesh. A horror game? It looks like it has some aspect of horror in it.
I have never played any Hellblade games. Is it good? What an amazing new look at the gameplay and world of Hellblade 2 coming in 2024 to Xbox, PC, and Game Pass. Now to present our next award, please welcome a former Game Award like winner it? nominated tonight or for Best it. Fighting Game. There's no the in creative between? Director of NetherRealm By Studios, the way, hi, Legend. Boone. I forgot to say hi to you. <laughs> you were in the middle of performance. <laughs> Best stories are the ones we get lost in. Tonight's nominees for best narrative Ooh. got us all in their drama and Easy. their characters. Baldur's and yes, Gate 3. Sometimes in some weird stuff we can't explain. Here are the nominees. Best narrative. Bro, if Baldur's Gate 3 in isn't there. Story, they're only victims and monsters. <laughs> Bro, that's in there. It's in the list. Truth that awaits me. I will press on. He's here on some kind of hunt. Spider Man 2? I don't think narrative wise, Spider Man 2 is that good. And the award goes to. Yeah, Alan DLC. <laughs> Wait, sorry. I talked over him. Spider-Man 2? Holy cow. And yeah, Cyberpunk is just a DLC and it does count. Ah, thank you so much. Um, oh no, Alan Wake 2. Alan Wake 2 from the beginning was a actually one uh, project. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's Alan Wake 2. Bro, uh, Spider-Man and Alan Tyler Wake Sinica. are those... <laughs> <laughs> designers who made the story into gameplay, Simon, Molly, the whole narrative team, uh, directors working with actors, Ansi, uh, uh, Hannah, uh, Rosie, Holly. Uh, I guess I need to play Alan Wake now. Here tonight, some of them, Melanie, uh, Ilka. Maybe the people uh, that were talking Nathan beforehand David, but the whole, weren't just talking the whole cast, uh, wonderful bullshit. actors, and, and the song makers who made <laughs> custom <laughs> music. <laughs> custom songs to extend the story here tonight later <laughs> oh, bro. all gods of asgard oh uh this road every song maker coming through fright music uh for our <laughs> chapter songs thank you bro i uh, would be so flabbergasted if a kid comes up again New and, and it's a, always a risk gives a light for you to embrace it and speech. understand it <laughs> me so much. I'll treasure this always. Thank you. It's like, yay! I got an award! Artist to stay.私たちは想像力を駆使して目に見えないものを見ることができます。私たちはオーダーです。私たちはアーティスト。私たちはどこにでも存在する。私たちは安心。Yo. That was actually a cool edited video. independent studio in Tokyo. And she wanted what to show you what she's been working on before she's even <laughs> signed it with a publisher or a platform. Right. She said, come to this show. Just show it to the audience and the fans first. So that's what we're going to do. We're honored to have her back at the Game Awards. Please give a warm welcome to Akumi Nakamura. <laughs> Good Shin. evening, the amazing gamer. Gamer, hi, gamer son. I'm super excited to be on this <laughs> stage again. Thank you. Uh, first, oh, 
Sisa, she's the <laughs> She does have a very cute voice. And you, thank you, 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 all of you. It is so cute. Your support changed my life. Oh. <laughs> Today, I am. I was a bit like, it's okay, give me a hug. Project. She has good Chamber. English, Kawaii. She does have good English. Time see the unseen. Bye bye. Jap, Jap English is very kawaii. Very. Oh man. They, they, you can tell they are trying with English. Oh. Oh. You think it's gonna be a competitive game? Never mind. It's definitely a hack and slash kind of game. No, I did not. <laughs> so many incredible projects tonight. Thank you, Akumi. Now tonight, it's not lost. On right, the animation of is good. Are from big established franchises. And it almost reminded me sequel, of like it's important to use a place like TGA to introduce you to Overwatch. brand new worlds, like what you just saw with Kamuri and. Like this <laughs> My sister fair, She sings like morning. My sister true She laughs like new Honestly there is a lot of Viking games Don't you think so? Like Valhalla and there's some other assassin dreams, and then there's this one, and then there's... Viking uh, are cool. Yeah, true. Vikings are cool. Until they invade. And then they're not cool. Like in real life. That game, this game. Games. Oh, from from Ori. I actually adore um Ori's uh what is it? Visuals, sound, and story. So I'm I'm interested. Oh, uh, was it? Yeah, like Vikings in Vinland Saga anime. Those you welcome our Viking overlords. Jeez. The r no rest for the wicked. Well, oh man. Ain't no rest for the wicked. Da -da 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 -da. That's no rest for the wicked in action RPG from Moon Studios. And more information is coming March 1st, as you saw with the Wicked Inside Showcase. I'm Tonight, interested. During the Game Awards, viewers in the US the music, can enter to win one the of art 100 style. Lenovo Legion oh, Go gaming so handhelds, a Windows 11 gaming PC in your hand. Ads Head to tgalegion.com before the end Bro. of the show to enter for your chance to win. Here's a look at the Legion Go in action. <laughs> Lenovo actually made Isn't that just like a switch? <laughs> That's just a switch, isn't it? <laughs> Hashi, thank you. The thrill of exploring new worlds. The rush of victory. But there's still so much more to discover. Mm. 
Oh, Lice of P. I don't know what that is. Oh, Minecraft. I don't know what that cat is. That's definitely a Batman game. Oh, shit. They're going so fast. Every choice you make is a chance to feel something new. Good luck. So how, <laughs> how many did you recognize from that? The free sponsorship? Sponsorship. Bro, there's an avatar video game? <laughs> Wait, is it in VR? Yes. They're remaking Persona 3. You are Sarendu. Teach me the ways of the Na'vi. What they do to the land? The RDA? That is death. We did not want war. I mean... But they have made us warriors. Avatar, Frontiers of Pandora, available now. Um... Who... PlayStation. Hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> this hits. Mm -hmm. Good day, sir. You're just a wiffle waffle. You can't. I think Avatar was cool at the first battle. time it was out, but everything baron, else feels kind of forced. Border. Yeah. Decrees, like, don't get me wrong. The hype for Avatar was okay. And then I watched the first Avatar. Then I watched the second one. And I was. The second one was definitely mid. And then. I guess Avatar was popular enough we to promote a game. We have been saying it all night, <laughs> but it really has been an outstanding year for gaming. And now to talk about some of the biggest games. Thank you, it's Hoshi. It's a pleasure to welcome from the Muppets. That's right, the great Gonzo. Oh, thank you, thank you. God, hey, Jeff, <laughs> it's actually it's Muppets. Great to be here. Hello, everybody. Hey, oh my gosh. For, uh, coming. I, it's so like cute. Kind of wearing what I'm wearing. Yeah, it's like looking in a mirror, isn't it? Well, I really, well, don't, I really think... don't think. So, Gonzo, so Gonzo what, have, what you have, you have you been playing? playing? Seriously, what, what have you been, been playing? playing? Hey, everybody! Hush! Hey, everybody. <laughs> That's what they Everyone say every tonight. year. Hey, wait a minute! Literally, that is what they say right, every that was year. A good one. You got me. Well played, Jeff. Yeah. Well, thank you. Seriously, though, what have you been playing? Cringe. Well. We lots love cringe in this community, right? Kingdom. I'm so proud what of this community. Game. <laughs> no, I'm just you know that one mission where you it follow is. the Kuku I was Pino? like, bro, Muppets? I lost track of how many days I spent doing that. The objective is really, you know, just follow the chicken. You don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> Honestly, That's right, you at best, it's chicken, cutest. So I guess that was your favorite part. What at you worst, it's ending? cringe. <laughs> oh, I never get past that Kuku mission. I keep restarting to see if I can get a slower time. Talk show okay, award. Well, great gaming highlights this year for you In guys. my stream, talk you show Actually, award. If you have the time. Hey, you, you guys got a minute? <laughs> I'd like to show you how many of this year's greatest games all revolve hmm. around one central oh theme. Gosh. Check this out. <laughs> got the case board. Yeah, that's quite a conspiracy you've uncovered. I know. I Is that know. a chocobo on top? I'm obsessed with chickens, and I can't appreciate video games beyond this one very specific interest. I mean, yeah, I think we're all thinking that. I'm about to change myself, bro. Yeah, maybe. Look what do at you think, Zelda. People. <laughs> Oh my gosh, hey, you know. That's crazy. Thank you so much for the bits. I feel as free as a cuckoo. Yeah! <laughs> All right, 
the great Gonzo. Thank you, Gonzo. And now to the task at hand. The game award goes to Cocoon. I haven't heard any of those games, to be honest. Have you? Who here has played any of those games? You guys tried anything? Wow. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, the team from Geometric Ooh. didn't make it out tonight. Uh, but Cocoon. Cocoon won. Everyone who played and voted for Cocoon. And to Yepi, Mads, I don't know what the game is everyone about. Everyone the team at Geometric, thank you so much for being such a wonderful partner on this game. Thank you. The Geometric team also wanted to thank um, and be, they were Pizza honored Tower? to be nominated with all the awesome Bro, When I heard that name, I wanted to try Pizza um, Tower. I to see what you guys do next. Thank you. The best mobile game of 2023. Oh my gosh, chat! Best mobile games! Go mobile in 2024. Google Play will be awarding the most anticipated title with their Play More Award <laughs> on Twitch. So head on over to Twitch to lock your vote. And now it's time for our next world premiere. Oh my gosh, what's gonna win? Do you think it's Hello? gonna be Diablo Mobile? Oh, mobile games! <laughs> I have to look at Google Play right now to see what's like the top mobile games right now. Okay, so from my phone, right? The top mobile game is Monopoly Go. <laughs> Clash of Clans. Did you save the game? Really? Oh yeah, there is what's Genshin it? Mobile. Of games and <laughs> gotcha games. <laughs> there better be gotcha games in there, chat. Oh my gosh, everybody plays gotcha games. <laughs> it's ra Raid Shadow Legends. What is this Tony Tony Hawken looking? Oh wait, never mind. It's a platform. It has a dog. It's a platform. It's 3D. Alright. Bro, if Raid Shadow Legends wins, I'm gonna go install Raid Shadow Legends right now. <laughs> and then play it next week. <laughs> Sega! Oh yeah! Now, typically a world premiere reveals one game, but leave it to Sega to announce five new games in one trailer. So many memories for all of us. <laughs> all those are first of the many brand new games in development and set for release over the next several well, years. For real. Thanks to Sega for that truly incredible announcement. Hmm. All right, well, this next trailer might be something Dragon Ball fans have been waiting to hear about for a while. Here we go. Oh my gosh, Dragon Ball. These nuts across your face. <laughs> Is it a fighting game? It's all a fighting game. Yo. Yo. Ah! Tremble before my power. I'll show you the horrors of hell. Now perish along with it, Sladdy! Yo! Look. If they ain't powering up forever, it ain't a true Dragon Ball game. But man, the animations looks really cool. <laughs> What's this? 
Whatever's down there is too dangerous. From the world of Dead by Daylight, are they coming out with the new Dead by Daylight? of Frank Stone. It's that it's just DBD with a new cast of characters and a new names in the horror genre, Hunter. Dead by Daylight and Supermassive Games <laughs> come together just... for a brand new single player experience, the casting of Frank Stone. Now tonight we're showing you lots of new worlds, but now it's time to return to a world we haven't seen in quite some time. No, it's not. Wait, is it really a single player? I think it looks like multiplayer. What is this? Animal Crossing 3.0? Is this a new MMO? No, it's not. Oh, I didn't listen. Shit. I should probably listen. Nico Nico Ni? Ooh, spirit in it. Hmm. When a world is this vast and not as rendered as properly, I always think of MMOs. But it looks like a single player game. Mana? The visions of mana. I've never heard of that. Oh, shoot. It looks really cool, though. It reminds me so much of, like... Maple Story? But, like, said, not platform. Just to the beat of a drum. <laughs> a fleeting moment can feel like a lifetime. For those caught in its deadly rhythm. And a lifetime Funny can pass shot. in the blink of an eye. For anyone embracing its bitter end. The only thing we know for sure is that time marches forward. Even if we are apart, still we are one. Is it me or it looks like only Without hesitation? No. Without remorse. If the drum Ooh. drives the rhythm, a gun? Then the river directs the flow. Let's do this together. How many mountains must you move to alter the river below? <laughs> Let us not forget the pain of Master Showing and the countless others who have suffered. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, shit. As the smoke rises, so shall we. Ronin. 
The rice or rice of Ronit. You know, will sacrifice their part Perry this you. casual. <laughs> so which of you will do the deed? <laughs> He's literally holding up a gun. Sheesh. Honestly, it reminds me a That's lot of Sekiro. Doesn't it? Now it is time to announce winners I think it's gonna be like... Souls-like? It looks like... Action game. Ooh, action Armored game. Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. Mm -hmm. Dead Island 2, oh. Ghost Runner 2, Hi-Fi Rush, and Remnant 2. I'm stuck between and Armored Core Award and Remnant. Armored Core 6, uh, Fires of Rubicon. Of course. Congratulations from... Here are the nominees for Best Art Direction. Alan Wake 2, Hi-Fi Rush, Lies of P, mm. Super Mario Brothers Wonder, and The Legend of Zelda. Let's say Alan of the Wake 2. And the Game Award goes to... Alan Wake 2! <laughs> That's Remedy. Here are the nominees for Best VR AR. Gran Turismo 7, Humanity, oh. Horizon Call of the Mountain, Resident, Resident Evil, Evil Village, Village, of VR course. Mode, and Synapse. And the game award goes to. Resident <laughs> Evil Village I'm VR. so good. The Capcom. <laughs> now your nominees for best mobile game: Final Fantasy VII, Ever Crisis, Hello Kitty, Kitty Island Rail, Adventure, Hello Kitty Island Adventure, Hello Kitty, Kitty Island, Island Adventure, and Terra Nell. And the game award goes to Honkai Star Rail. <laughs> Congratulations, Hoyoverse. <laughs> All right, we have much more Game Awards to come, real. including the first ever performance by the gotcha. old gods of Asgard in from my Alan mobile Wake game. Two, and some of our biggest game announcements are still to come. But right Rainbow now, we'd like to meet one of tonight's in. nominees <laughs> for best fun. debut indie game, who is also part of the newly inducted future class presented by. Are they Old giving Spots. out more, more free pools because they win Game of the Award? My name is Abi. In India, when I grew up. I had a very early interest in games. When I got to Canada at the age of 12, it was a whole new world for me. For many South Asian families, food is not just a thing to cook, but also a way of expressing a Oh, now I'm hungry, chat. Say. What the Remember, heck? As a narrative cooking you don't just show me hot food story of and an not a in the 1980s. It's a story about <laughs> love, loss, and right? family. The more local, Bro, you are, the more what she, thank you, you for become. the bits. Everybody who's played the game is able to put something from their lives into it. I think it's an advertisement for a game. Old Spice. Oh, ads in my game of the award. That's that's how I scream actually. <laughs> Bro, you won't see a single VTuber when it comes to reaction videos. Unless we're very expressive. What game is this? Is this like Outless Trials? It looks like Outless Trials. Oh shit. Ooh. Wait. It's not out? Why did it say pre order? Kingdom of Stress? Nick 
Okay. <gasps> Finally! We are back! Okay, oh my back gosh! I was so tired of ads, I was gonna fall asleep to them. to get a world premiere from one of our industry's greatest creators. He's been a huge supporter of the Game Awards since ah. the very beginning back in 2014. And tonight, I am so, so honored to share this latest update with you on his upcoming project. Here we go. Oh, Hideo Kojima game! Shit! The hungry purple dinosaur ate the kind zingy fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale, and started bending and quacking. The hungry purple dinosaur ate the kind zingy fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale, and started bending and quacking. The hungry purple dinosaurs ate the kind zingy fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale, and started bending and quacking. It's a horror game. Please welcome the they did not show Andy enough of it. OD, Mr. Mr. Kojima, back to the Game Awards. Uh, thank you, Jeff. えっと、10回目となる記念すべきこのTGAで、え、ま、新作のゲームODえ、発表できて非常に嬉しいです。Girl, I wish they showed just a little bit more so I can get excited for it. But they didn't show enough. So I'm just like it's just a horror really game. Glad to be at the 10th I need to see a little bit Game more Awards. to judge it, you really know? I'm really happy to show the new title, OD. And this title will feature uh, main role Sophia Lillis, uh, Hunter Schaefer, and Udo Kier. Yeah. Uh, I think we all want to know more, of course. What kind of game are you making, Mr. Kojima? あの、ま、僕はその誰もがやったこともないような、え、斬新なことに挑戦することを非常に大好き。I mean, it's not a bad trailer, but I can't get hyped for a game that I don't see the game, you know? Just a horror game. When is it coming out? 2024? 2025? Girl Scream equals good. Definitely. So I really like to always challenge new things, groundbreaking things, and that's my kind of rule. Uh, but this one, um, with uh, help of Xbox, Xbox Game Studios and using their uh, cloud gaming technology, um, I'm kind of doing this uh, together. But it's, it's really to make immersive and also something that never, no one has seen before is what I'm trying to do. And oh. it is a game, don't get me wrong, but it's Kojima's at the same time a movie, but at the same time a new again? form of media. Interesting. Well, we can't wait to learn more about what you're working on. Oh, wait, wait. Is, is there somebody else at the door? Who? Among Everyone, Us. Please welcome Jordan Peele to the Kojima verse. Oh? A 
among What's us. Up? How's it going? Oh my God, Jordan, welcome to the Game Awards. What a fun surprise. I know you're a big fan of Hideo's game. He just right? came He's out of Hideo's nowhere. Icon, and uh, I, I can just, I can say from the first moment I played Metal Gear Solid 2, I knew I was experiencing the work of an artist whose craft just hits different. And he's been an inspiration to me, and the opportunity to collaborate with him is truly incredible. In my films, I'm always trying to maximize the immersion, put the audience into the main character's shoes. Hideo is the master of this, and he does it on a whole nubba level. <laughs> And what he's cooking up here is completely immersive, utterly terrifying, and I am absolutely honored to be collaborating with the GOAT. Let's go! <laughs> Damn, okay. Two GOATs working together. Uh, Hadale, I want to ask you, how are you collaborating with Jordan? Right? He does. Yes, project. Yes, he is that sweating meme. <laughs> で、お会いして非常に気が合うので、もう最近会った時から、え、昔からの知り合いみたいな、お友達みたいな感じで。で、僕は、Look at all those white hair. で、ジョーダンは、え、ゲームを、え、遊びながら育って、He rich now. He's rich and famous, okay?え、ジョーダンと一緒に物を作って。Man, bro, he he do be old though. Now that you mention it. Now that you mention it. Is old. Oh my gosh. We were friends from the past. We get on very well. We like things that we both like and we're really happy and we wanted to collaborate something and and this time um well, Jordan, I I grew up watching movies and I'm a game creator now. Jordan grew up playing games and he's a movie director now. So this two collaboration will be really awesome. So that's why I wanted to do something together with Jordan. それぞれの恐怖っていうのの頂点を当ててもらってストーリー手にしてもらうと予定ですで、あのここではそのメンバーを紹介できませんけども非常に豪華な婦人というか著作の集まりなんで I commend the translator for being able to translate a whole paragraph. So, uh, what I could say right now is that I'm kind of, um, um, it's not just Jordan. I have other uh, creative collaborative partners uh, with me on board on this project. I can't really uh, say who they are right now, but they, I tell you, they are the legends and they're going to be amazing. And uh, I actually call them the Avengers. The door is closed for now, so no more special guests, but it's going to be amazing. Wanna, I, I just want to stress that what this man is building here is unlike any other game. It is going to be crazy. That's, that's it. We cannot wait to learn more. Hideo, I will, I will definitely Hill. wait to learn Thank more, you so much, bro. Guys. I mean, right, Death Stranding may have been a flop, but who knows? Who knows what Kojima's cooking up? I own an island off the coast of Costa Rica. <laughs> really spectacular, spared no expense. For this place, I wanted to show them something that wasn't an illusion. Jurassic Park. Da -da 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 -da. Actually, a Jurassic Park game. Holy cow. Can anyone hear me? This is Dr. Maya Joshi. I've been left behind on Isla Nubla. <laughs> Jurassic Park combined with Night at the Museum. <laughs> so is this a horror game?
Bro, they better include the original Jurassic Park music in there. Oh my gosh, I forgot. T-Rex. Of course, the T-Rex has to show up in any Jurassic Park movies. Games. Mm, a survival game, huh? There's way too many survival games that involve dinosaurs for me to really care about another one. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm honored to be here tonight to present the award for best audio design. Audio. Sound is an often overlooked but crucial aspect of game development. It's what brings games to life, <laughs> creating the immersive worlds we love to explore. <laughs> yes. It's the eerie noises deep in the forest, the echoes inside an abandoned spacecraft, or the satisfying sound. Bro, of if Baldur's Gate 3's in there, that's gonna this win. This year, we've seen some incredible examples of audio design in games as talented sound designers have pushed the boundaries of what's <laughs> possible. Here are the nominees. Nice shirt, bro. Best audio design. Dead space? Oh shit, dead space. Please. Dead space. Like, bro, you don't understand. Dead space. <laughs> and the game award goes to Hi Fi Rush. Ah! No! Thank you so much. Eh, I can't remember. Eh, so, eh, this kind of amazing award, thank you so much. I bet their sound is really good. I guess. I can't say. Haven't played it. To see if the audio is good. Just enough. a quick translation. Thank you for this amazing award. It's so glad that the work that the team has done together has to achieve has been recognized here. Thank you to everyone who supported this project. And for myself, thank you to our family, friends, partners. Oh, the translator pets. shaking. Um, thank you everyone, Bethesda, ZeniMax, oh, Microsoft, give them a and hug, the, chat. all the players out there um, for going with this ridiculous project. And most of all, to the team at Tango for taking such a wild idea and making it a reality. Thank Give you so much. Hug. <laughs> he was shaking, holding that piece of paper. All right, let's oh. turn to the world of Fortnite. If you haven't already, check out Fortnite. the Game Island in Fortnite. It's been updated with new trophies tonight to collect. Fortnite is expanding into a full-on platform with tons of new experiences beyond Battle Royale. Earlier <laughs> today, LEGO Fortnite launched, and on Saturday... LEGO Fortnite. Fortnite! Oh my Festival gosh, I gotta tomorrow, download it right the team now. The team Psionics <laughs> behind Rocket League delivers rocket racing. Here's your first look. Oh my gosh, Rocket League is actually racing? Wow, it's like any other racing game. That's fucking wild. <laughs> Where's Ball?
There's balls. <laughs> There's balls in my racing game? Sheesh. Say less. You know, the cars remind me of Hot Wheels. Or is it just me? Don't these look like Hot Wheels cars? <laughs> So cute. Minds <laughs> yearn to ascend, yet fame still holds sway. Their glory fades through time in tunes of somber gray. Oh sh you too want to be an immortal? Master, are there more good folks in the world or bad? More good, of course. Then why is there always suffering? Yo. Why do the bad folks always win? What the because heck? Because goodness without teeth what the heck? wishes not. Oh my gosh, what is that? Cleanse the world with blood and grow Wukong? in it. That is your Is this Wukong? I, the keeper of the new west, welcome the destined A one. A monkey king? The destined one who doesn't even know what he's destined for. Old rascals, they surely know how to name. Tell me, is my kind destined for extermination? You're driven by glory, not destiny. So, this is the face of the destined one. It will fit me just as well. Oh my gosh, and don't get all ball close to me. Peace. Oh, you immortals, pray enlighten me. What justifies your superiority? Hey, yo, shield surfing, though. Oh, you can ride them? Bro, I'm sold. If you can ride, like, any of the monsters, I am effing sold. Bro. Yeah, this game is not coming out anytime soon. So on point today! Wukong, baby! Oh, it's coming out next year! Black Knight Wukong. Batman, Green Lantern, The Flash, Justice League? Superman. A Justice Your League friends game. are slaughtering the people oh. they swore to protect. Your birthday fun? Ooh, it's gonna be super exciting. Justice League will burn this earth down for me. Flash, how do I stop this? You have to kill us, Diana. We have to die to save the world. We can work with that. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> oh. Is it a Suicide Squad game? You think you can stop us? Thought you'd never ask. So like we're playing as the villains, defeating the superheroes. According to all these girlfriends. Time for us bad guys to save the world. It's coming out, it's coming out. Bro, the game, the game is so good though. I'm sorry, not the game, the music is so good though. You know?
Uh, we've got a special Warframe Twitch drop tonight for those of you. Oh my gosh, on. Warframe chat. Games. We gotta, we gotta Warframe stay tuned. On the next expansion, right? Yeah, we do. You know, it's been 10 years for Warframe, so you know, 10 years for you. We assumed we'd get a seniors discount of some time, just because our game is probably the oldest game here, maybe. But yeah, we Keeps have. going strong. Wow. Because our community is so awesome. That called and old. We are going to be showing you the release date for our next major update for Warframe. So we do have a trailer for you know Warframe players around the world to watch, which is quite exciting. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's been an incredible ride, 10 years of just our incredible developers, our community just supporting us along the way. So if you're a Warframe fan and watching, we love you and thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy the next update, Whispers in the Walls. Oh yeah, thanks for having us back too. Devs at home, we love you guys. Her All right, yeah. thanks guys, let's take a look. Her rings, For claw rings, are kind of scary. No purpose, no call to wake you, but now, you have changed everything. The lidless eye has seen you. Is this like a new expansion you, for Warframe? The Tenno. Hmm. Warframe isn't that old, right? I must be like... Bro, she was like... Discussing about senior discounts and now I gotta look up if Warframe is really that old. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, 10 years! Bro, it's not that old. It's only been 10 years! Can't be hitting me with the senior discount. Sheesh! It is waiting. There's actual humans in Warframe? Since when? What the? <laughs> Bro, I totally miss that. I miss anything like people have more than two sentences to say there about. There is so much more Game Awards ahead. You thought the surprises <laughs> were done? Nope, there's lots coming. But while you're here, head to supergameawards.com through December 31st for a chance to win a trip for four to the brand new Super Nintendo World. Anything more than Universal two sentences Studios that Hollywood. comes out of people's mouth, I'm like dozing off. Um, yo, that's like one of the places I want to visit in Japan. The, immersive world the Mario Samaria. world. Brought to life like never before. <laughs> Super Nintendo World. Now open at Universal Studios Hollywood. Lucky you, Hashi. Lucky you. Uh, let's see. What's this one? Death Stranding? No Man's Sky? Maybe? No. It can't be. Bruh, you're gonna send me pics to be jealous? Oh, Starfield! Sheesh, I never played Starfield. I heard it's like uber buggy, so... Never played it. Life to the living. Death to the dead. We have sworn to protect the living from the lingering dead. Keep the incarnate and the invisible separate to bring peace on Eren's souls. Once their grip on this world oh? is broken. Oh sh zombie game? Life to the living. Death to the dead. Life to, to the living. Death to, to the, the dead. dead. No, never mind. Not zombie game. Death to the dead. 
Honoring my oath. Or sacrificing the living to bring me back. I'm not sure I can <laughs> the <do this>. <laughs> Honor your oath. Or bring me back. But don't leave me like this. Oh, a pirate game. Not gonna lie, Chief. When was their uh, last good pirate game? 911, this call is being recorded. What is your emergency? I... I need the police. You got the police or you're right. You ready? Call of Duty? No. We gotta get you up. Look out! Ready? Officer is down and we need backup. Let's go! Get back! You can still make it out of this. Drop the gun and let her go. I'm not going in! So, are you ready? Huh. I'm gonna give a pass on that one. I don't play those types of games. So I'm gonna go put stream to watch and add to the collection. Age of Empires, Call of Duty Warzone Mobile, Little Nightmares, and Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six are just some of the big titles coming to mobile. Oh my gosh, mobile games! Head to the Game Awards on Twitch to vote for which title you want to win Google Play's own Play More Award. Now, please welcome last year's winner of Games for Impact for the game As Dusk Falls, which is coming to PlayStation on I know, I'm just... and is available for pre-order tonight. Creative director Caroline Marshall. So many big title games though are going mobile, which makes sense. A lot more people are busier, and games on the go well, is the easiest way Winning to make money. Last year hmm. was definitely a highlight of my 22 years in the industry. Games for Impact is one of the most important categories at the Game Awards. The games nominated this year offer unique and nuanced perspectives on topics that concern us all, from the climate crisis to cultural diversity. They broaden our horizons, foster empathy, and connect us as humans. In a world torn apart by divisions and intolerance, this is one of the most essential powers of our medium. So basically a game Here that makes us sad. Standing nominees. <laughs> you want her to say forget? For impact. I want a sad game. A cat game? Bro. Says a traveler will reunite the I want the cat game to win. The theme. Using this here to um, make an impact. Whatever game that had the cat, I want that one. And the Game Award goes to... Chia! Is that the one with the cat? I can give you sad games for No! I'm not trying to cry tonight! <laughs> I think she just missed it. <laughs> Thank you! I accept this award on behalf of... Uh, Develop ourselves, who cannot be here, but I got a message from Phil Crippo. She said Chia, not Chu. I'd like to thank ourselves family for your trust and unbelievable talent. Kepler and Sony for believing in this crazy <laughs> project. And the entire population of New Caledonia who championed and embraced Chia all along. Thank you, Mercy Oleti. <laughs> Hey, wait, chi cha chia. Ch -ch oh my gosh, I can't even say it. How did he? Because she said it differently, and he said it differently. Hello. I'm Abu Bakr Salim. I'm mainly known for my acting work in Raised by Wolves and Assassin's Creed Origins. Oh, oh, that's why I recognize but, his voice. But, but that is not why I'm here. Okay. 
sorry, now this is, this is crazy, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I remember watching the Game Awards when I was younger, so being up here now is oh. like... <laughs> Give him a hug! <laughs> he forgot what he's here. Look, I've, I've loved games all my the life. The nervousness uh, got I mean, to him. Life, Give man. him a hug. Hearts, Gary's mod. Oh, Gary's Golden mod. Sun. Yes. I remember and Gary's it, it, mod. It started with my dad, right? He got me into them. He understood, you know, that games are an art form. You know, it's a great space remember to his enjoy lines. and escape from the reality of the slack. world. And he passed away a while back. And I'll tell you what, I'm still figuring it out. But four years ago, I decided that I needed to try and process my grief in a way that felt true to me and him. So I took the biggest risks of my life and threw everything that I had in making a game. A, a piece of art that honored him an ode to the people we have loved and lost. <sighs> so. Mm. So the reason I'm here tonight is because with the love and support He's gonna of cry. a lot of people Give him a hug, here, chat. I'm going to take another big risk and I'm going to show you <laughs> what we've been building. No, I'm going to offer you this game. A game from my old man. Aww. I hope you like it. Every story begins at the end of another. Each story carries with it the echoes of those that came before. My Baba, my father, your story was snatched away too soon. My name is Zhao, a shaman of Kenzera. Here, I seek my father's return. Uh -huh. Never do that. <laughs> I suck at platformers. <laughs> Dang it! The way he like stopped in the middle of the, like the traps. Like, bro, that was cool. That takes skills. I cannot stop. That I don't have. I will not stop. Kalunga, God of Death, hear my plea. Kalunga, God of Death, come to me. Show me oh. you are ready. EA? Damn, bro. Man. <laughs> if you really want, you can play anything. Oh, thank you. I do try to play anything though. <laughs> They're gonna get murdered. In the forest? They started the wildfire? It's been 27 years, y'all. Why now? Because we made a promise. Eh, it's not really a horror game, game I guess. The development team behind Life is Strange. Now we have a world premiere new look at a game based on an ongoing franchise of 18 years with over 850 million users worldwide. This entirely in-engine trailer shows off the blend between cartoon 3D graphics with hardcore action. This is the first Berserker. Oh, shit! Oh, shit, Chad! Did I just hear that right? Oh! <laughs> Finally, I found you. Trampled by the one you trusted. How bad your king you thought you were a hero oh my 
Oh god, chat. Slam me down, please. Bro, if it's got like really cool finishing moves, sign me up. <laughs> Looks good, right? All right, now it's time for our first performance by the Game Awards Orchestra. Dodge gameplay this one, though, looks good. It's a little bit of a twist. <laughs> They're about to play music from an upcoming game that no one has heard yet. You might call it one of those world premieres, and this is a special one. It's written by one of the greatest video game composers Bruh. of all time, the legendary Nobuo Utamatsu. Here is the Game Awards Orchestra, led by Lauren Balf, with lead vocals from Lauren Allred, debuting the theme song from Final Fantasy VII. Rebirth. Oh. Enjoy. Oh, Hashi, this is for you. She hit that note. What an absolutely beautiful song from Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which is nominated for most anticipated game tonight. Thank you to Lauren Allred and Maestro Lauren Balf and the Game Awards Orchestra. They will be back Aww, later to pay tribute to our Game of the Year nominees. But that's not all Don't worry, we have Lord. tonight. We are just watching Final the Fantasy. Game Awards. And. We've they wanted to demonstrate Final Fantasy VII Rebirth music. Because the future has the power to change anything. Even the past. And now Hoshi is crying. His heart out. Strap in, Yuti. Things are about to get mighty interesting. Apex. Definitely Apex.
Apex and Final Fantasy? Oh my gosh! Oh, that's it. I'm playing Apex. Fridge my life. I said I won't touch a competitive game, but you bet my ass I'm gonna touch when Apex. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth comes to Apex Legends on <laughs> January 9th, and that key art you just saw was drawn by Nomura-san himself. Thank you so much for that incredible announcement. Now it's time to announce the winners of a few more awards as selected by the fans and our voting jury. In the category of Best Score and Music, the nominees are Alan Wake 2, Baldur's Gate 3, Final Fantasy um, 16, Hi Fi, -fi Rush, Rush I think. and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And the Game Award goes to Final Fantasy oh, 16. Yeesh. So really? Here are the nominees for Best <laughs> Independent Game Cocoon, Dave the Diver, Dredge. Sea of Stars and Viewfinder. Dave the Diver. And the game goes to Sea of Stars. What? Oh, that's, that's crazy. Sabotage. Here are the nominees for Best Community Support. Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk 2077, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy 14, Final Fantasy 14. and No Man's Sky. And the Game Award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. What? Congratulations, <laughs> Laren. All right. Nominees for Best Fighting Game. Those are God of Rock, Mortal Kombat 1, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2, Pocket Bravery, and Street Fighter 6. Mortal Kombat 1. And the Game Award this year goes to Street Fighter 6. What? Congrats, Capcom. <laughs> All right. Ah. Most anticipated game. Your nominees Damn. this year were Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Hades 2, like a dragon in Final Pokemon, Fantasy 7 Star Wars Outlaws <laughs> and Tekken 8 and the game award this year goes to Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth ah, I got one right I got right. one right well, it's been 8 months since the release of Honkai Star Rail a winner tonight for best <laughs> mobile game this space fantasy RPG filled with myths and legends is set for more intergalactic Easy. expeditions in 2024 and tonight we have an exclusive look at Penacone, the next destination. Hoyo verse. Do you still remember it? Okay. Tables about the stars. Is this a new Hoyo verse game? Of what is and what was. Oh. Its pages will always reveal something new. No, it's just on Kai Star Rail. That's it. Memories, they are only a HSR. Its main character is the male character. That's the canon. Dead game? <laughs> Honestly, I, I stopped playing uh, Honkai Star Rail and went back to Genshin. And then once I'm burnt out of Genshin, I'm gonna go back to Honkai Star Rail. That's just how it's gonna go. Perhaps from one of these pages, I'll appear in your story too. Rawr! Rawr! Welcome to Penacone. Sleep Memory. well, Lord. Yes, Thanks for coming by and saying hi to me today. The Galaxy Ranger. And Good work working for, for 15 best hours. Game. Monster Hunter Now is the new mobile game from Niantic and Capcom. Like all Niantic's games, Monster Hunter Now is played in the real world. And tonight, they have a special <laughs> game event that. going on right true. now with new monsters, new weapons, and special free game items for new players to join the hunt. It's available Ooh. now for iPhone and Android. So check it out. Monster Hunter Now. Monster Hunter Coming Mobile. Up, an exclusive new look at the new Fallout series. We'll be right back. Another Fallout? Wait. Fallout. When was the last time there was a Fallout game? Oh, it's gonna be Netflix. Damn. Lego Fortnite! Yeah, baby! That's gonna be memed on. 
so hard. Bro, did you guys hear? Peter, uh, Peter Griffin is in Fortnite now. <gasps> He's... He also has the meme. <laughs> Wait, really? Oh my gosh. The only one missing from Fortnite now is Donald Trump. Like, bro. And it would be complete. And then that old meme is gonna come true. Modern Warfare. Oh. And then Peter actually dies. Oh my gosh. Bro, Fortnite is like the greatest crossover ever. No one can tell me otherwise. They have like almost everyone. If it exists, it's there, you know? Bruh, they use they use the sea shanty, the Willerman. You know Alex Jones, right? No, I don't know who Alex Jones is. Ubisoft. Another All pirate right, game? Your heart! Awards, and that was a new look at Skull and Bones from Yar Ubisoft, which is coming out on February 16th. I'm happy to announce the players can register now for the upcoming closed Probably. I probably do know him. I gotta see, like, pictures of him. And now it's time for the announcement of the next game from the studio that won Best Game Direction in 2021. Holy cow, 2021. Dishonored in Deathloop? So this is the Netflix series, right? from Arcane Leon and Bill Rosman from Marvel Yo. to tell us how did this come together, guys? That well, was Joe, honestly kind of cool. Of but I never heard of Blade focused on bringing together from Marvel. World-class talent with the fan-favorite characters that they love. Now, we are huge fans of Arcane Leon, not only because of the story-rich games they create with innovative gameplay, but because of their authentic passion. Okay, okay, I'll watch That's the movies. On Blade's 50th anniversary, we are so honored to announce nope, I this true Marvel team up. <laughs> yes, and uh, after this, I'm, I'm, and okay. this you... our first order of business was to make another very arcane game, but with a title that is easier <laughs> to say in a French accent. And uh, when we had, you know, when Sebastian Miton and Man, I you guys are like so excited, Marvel, and I'm like, so look, <laughs> let's really challenge them. Let's present our wildest take on a superhero that we both. I'm gonna I'm watch it. And we That's gonna be up. like I mean, a movie Arcane night watch. Touch fits Blade like his trademark trench coat, and I mean, think I about it. I'm sure you know him. Anyway, he made a game, and Trump is in the game. game. Oh, single player where you get to play Blade your way. For true believers, 
it's a dream come true. Very excited to learn more. Uh, Dingo, why this character? Well, he's the daywalker. Uh, Eric Brooks is half man, half vampire, torn between the warm society of the living and the rushing power of the undead. And uh, as a kid of mixed origins, uh, his dual heritage resonated with me. So yes, it is a dream oh. to be making a game about Blade in Paris, my hometown. You know, if... <laughs> well, if... <laughs> okay. I want to say baguette <laughs> so well. If my hometown was walled in and we shared it with bloodthirsty invaders that come out as soon as the sun goes down. Ça serait un petit peu la merde quand même. <laughs> Anything else you can Interesting. I'm going to definitely early, right? watch it then. Uh, I can tell you one thing. Okay. Uh, the entire team at Arcane Lyon is, you know, pouring so much love into this immersive third person action adventure okay. set in the heart of Paris. Okay. So please sit back, let us cook, and voila! Merci beaucoup! <laughs> Merci! <laughs> wow, that, <whoa>. <laughs> <laughs> That's Take gonna cringe, I'm not gonna lie. Announcement. All right, awesome. Thanks, Diga. All right. Now please welcome the star of Twisted Metal and okay. nominee tonight for Best Adaptation, Anthony Mackey! <laughs> He won't say baguette just because some random, uh, what is it? Some random person said. Whoa, shoot. 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 Isn't she Captain America now? I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who shoot. watched Twisted Metal on Peacock. And, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. I have one He's thing Captain to do America now, right? Before I get on to the award I'm supposed to represent up here. Okay? Oh, Falcon. <laughs> I mean, yes, Falcon, but... Is he not okay, Captain right. America, I know no? I say a lot of different things. You can't scream them all! <laughs> <laughs> he has now, Captain no America shield. Yet, so you three guys and everybody else is going to be the first. Because of our incredible fans. Or am I confusing Twisted the Metal people? Twisted Metal is coming back for season two on Peacock. So, so, <laughs> everybody <laughs> get your motor revving, because you're going on another ride with John Doe. You look great. You guys see this section right here? You guys look great. Keep it going, baby. I don't trust this dude, but y'all look great. Don't you yell at me. I love you more. I love you. What the heck? What is Cringe. wrong with y'all? As the night progresses, the cringier it gets. Stop it, you! Okay. Oh my gosh, the dialogue I pain I'm you. getting. The second-hand embarrassment okay. I'm getting right now. Today, <laughs> the best games are like living universes, constantly expanding with new content and challenges. Right? And that's what this award, <laughs> best <laughs> <laughs> Thank you the for games the bits. that continue to deliver fresh experiences for their loyal communities. Here are the nominees. Best ongoing. Oh my gosh! Yes, finally. Always pierces through. Apex Legends. Cyberpunk. No gun, no fun. The hour is come. Free Fourteen. Fortnite. Oh my gosh, that's kind of hard. And Genshin Impact. This is gonna be. So <laughs> okay, I get so many cool points with my sons. You know for what? This moment. I'm gonna um, hate to say right. this, but so, it's gonna be Fortnite. The game award goes to. It's gonna be Fortnite. Shut up. Cyberpunk 2077. What the fuck? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> what? <laughs> this is heavy, dude. That was like out of <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> oh my goodness! What a journey! What a journey it's been! What a Holy fucking surprise! Awesome. That's what it is. This is an incredible moment from launch to 1.5 to 2.0 in phantom liberty holy and, cow uh, now the ultimate edition like really con you expected cyberpunk and just wanting to bring forward stories 
<laughs> that impact. Worlds that are immersive. You know, the world being immersive, and of course the gameplay just Sheesh, being fun. Rigged. I, this is actually rigged. We accept this on behalf of hundreds <laughs> of people who put their hearts and souls in it. The two of us here. Please, Sasuke, including this guy here. Please say something. Yeah, 14 and, is I mean, definitely I, I the longest. Our but like, in terms of player base, I feel like Fortnite has a larger feedback, funny memes, videos, daily you know, players. Posts on Twitter, you know? On Reddit. It was amazing, you know, to see the reception of the players. No cap. When they were actually getting all of those updates. Just recently, we shipped what the update 2.1 for Cyberpunk 2077. And it's for all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, the DLC, right? Congratulations, guys. Our next guest has worked on some truly memorable games over the past 20 years, like GTA 5, Bully, Need for Speed Underground, and the Red Dead Redemption series. Now he leads a has new studio, Lightspeed LA. Re Steve C. Martin recently. is here to unveil a brand new project. Steve? Thanks, Jeff. Great to have you here. You showed, it, showed this to me earlier this year. Uh, yeah. Tell us a bit about it. It's an honor to be here, so thanks for having us. Over the past few years, that's at like Speed LA, saying, myself, wow, there's a new expansion team, in Final Fantasy XIV, and everybody's playing it right now. Talent, so it's going to win a game, on a fully original, AAA, the best ongoing game. Open world game. Like, bro. Tonight, we're really excited to offer you all a sneak peek at what we've been working on. I'm seriously, I'm so excited to share so much more with you in the future. But for now, I hope you all enjoy this first taste. Amazing. Let's take a look, Steve. Here we go. I don't know. That was just, that just came out of nowhere. Like, holy cow. Oh, is it that like where the mom's the Can robot? Hush now. It's going go, going to be okay. The demon is here. Yeah, there's like a movie about where the mom's the robot and then raising children. I forgot what it's called. It might be a movie, it might be a short film, but I saw like a YouTube video about it. Last Sentinel. And honestly, it looks like another kind of like cyberpunk game. Hmm. Lift your head. I got my game is like supposed to be. Now open your eyes slowly. What are you? Take a breath. Right, God? Look around you. Oh, there's so much games nowadays that uses like villains demons as like something but it's like a good guy who saves the day and so it doesn't really make them bad though fate always tests us you have to fight until the end I'll find you. 
Yeah, it loses its connotation of like... Having a negative term to it. Which... You know, that as the there's rain and sunshine, I feel like we should keep terms things like now we have a new look at Hoyo bad guys next and big big guys. Game, Zenless Zone Zero in Urban the Fantasy same. ARPG. I have my eye on this one for a while. We had it at Gamescom and we're excited to unveil their latest announcement right here at TGA. Oh my gosh, is this more ads? More Honkai? Oh, it's the new Honk. It's the new Hoyoverse game. Of course, they're making a new gotcha game. How else are they gonna make money, you know? Honkai Star Rail's dead. Genshin is almost dead. Looks like Tower of Fantasy. It does! Now that you mentioned it, it does. Them half a year? What do you say? <laughs> Bro, they're gonna make another game. Look, if one of their game dies, they will put out another game. Oh, and don't even get me started. There's also Honkai Impact 3rd, right? Nobody mentions that anymore. Sag. Another Gundam game? Is it gonna have Gundam in its name this time? Anime, so it's definitely Gundam style now. <laughs> right? The Gundam logo now. The latest cyberpunk update. What we the heck? What they're playing on. Let's see what happens when they find out. This looks amazing. Ray tracing is beautiful. Yeah, it's super real. <laughs> what do you think's powering your gaming? Like a 4090? 40 series? You're actually playing on a Chromebook Plus. Wow. Streaming on GeForce Now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what <laughs> is this ad? I'm, not yeah. a new Chromebook. I'm still not buying a Chromebook. Fridge, this. <laughs> <laughs> the tide of war is turning against Hashi, us. Hashi, thank you. And we battle in last the stream, the automaton threat grows more menacing. By you know, the I day. haven't eaten. We need valiant soldiers to take on these deadly robotic hordes and spread our message of peace and democracy. Use the galaxy's most advanced weaponry. Fight alongside a squad worth dying for. Join the Helldivers. 
I did. I did get the ribs. <laughs> I should use the ad breaks for the... It was yummy. Bro, you don't understand. A good rib is when the meat falls off of the, like, bone. And the bone is soft enough that you can literally bite the bone and it would break. Yes, yes. Bro, I don't know any of the games they just showed. Okay, now we have a special so thank surprise you. for you. Thank you for allowing me uh, for letting here at the game me treat Awards. myself. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am your host, Wallendor. And I present to you the old gods of Asgard featuring the best-selling writer Alan Wake. This is Herald of Darkness. Aww. From what I gathered, you grew up nice and sheltered with mama's pretty stories and your own made up pure. And mama gave me a magic clicker. Well, yes, I think it's true and fair to say. <laughs> I guess Alan make me to be played. Honestly, the song's pretty good. Hi, <laughs> I see these people dancing in game. <laughs> creeped up and I see like a bunch of like dudes with leather pants just dancing around me. Oh really they are? Oh my god. The one dude in the middle and the one in the right. Oh yeah, I saw them in um with the little playthroughs that I've seen. He looks like the or what is it? That dude on the left? Or the dude that was the middle? I thought he looked like... Um... Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting who played John Wick. It must be late. It's actually late. But like, I'm forgetting what's his name. Who's the actor that played John Wick? For a moment, I thought it was him. Yeah, Keanu Reeves. Yes. For a moment, I thought Keanu Reeves was in All in Wake. <laughs> like, from afar, don't they? Because of the long hair and the beard? 
But uh, Keanu Reeves is already in oh, Cyberpunk. Wow. The fabulous poets of the fall performing in the role of old gods of Asgard. Thank you to the band, Sam Lake, Remedy Epic, the cast, and everyone involved to bring that performance to life. Something you will only see right here on the Game Awards. Now it's time for an update on a game we announced back at TGA in 2017. shared the same story, the same fate. A family of strangers. A strange family. We have lived a thousand lives. We have died a thousand times. Whoever we were before this torture, we are now as one. Until the end. One final battle, my friends. Remember us. I what's what's that? GTF? Oh, like. Joining Has that now game is been out? Ten Chambers, crazy. That was six years ago. We announced uh, GTFO. Oh, I guess it has Final been out. You've Sheesh. got a free weekend on Steam. Looks fantastic. Is it fun? But I think there's a little something more you're also working on, right? Yeah. First of all, I have to say thank me for thank you for having me again. Man, and uh, you delicious man. That must be missing out. <laughs> this suit is fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah. You look good too. Yeah, Your yeah, games yeah. look great. So. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we're working on something new, yeah. and uh, it's like a passion project, like like all our projects are. And this one, fridged up, things like gotta that. be real so quiet back, though. Fridged up, and everything okay. comes yeah, yeah, yeah. after so you. So it's again. a horror and game. It's sort of a, a, a sci-fi thing that I've been dreaming up hmm. since I was a kid, basically. Huh? And yeah, it's you know. It is what it is. To the world? Yes, we should. You've been working on this for a number of years. Yes. I'm so excited. It's finally yeah. time. Thank you. Check out the new game from Ulf and Ten Chambers. Here we go. Mr. Bowman, your reservation at Manon Aphis is in line. Cancel the reservation. Reset the procedure. Continued neuroprodding may severely damage the suspect. Reset the procedure. Yes, standing by. Eject. Oh, shoot. Bro, epileptic seizure Mr. warning. Holy? Spilling the beans about your recent Akajima district break. Let's continue. Huh. What are you hoping to find in the next essential? You mother. There's no use in fighting. I will get what I want. Ah, so that's how you found out about our Akajima fault. What were you looking for? A key. A key to what? Oh. Do you really want to know? Yes! What's the key for? <laughs> Bruh. Some of these, like, flashing it's lights need to, like, you. stop. I'm hungry right here. You see, just like me, you're caught here. You're caught in the den of wolves. Den of Wolf. I have a... Oh. Okay, I think I'm confusing it for another one. I... It reminds me of the clowns that does like bank heist. But obviously that one was like space. He to his heart. True. It did not actually look like me. None of the game trailers have looked like a game. Besides, um... Besides that anime looking game that like hits mushrooms and whatnot. <laughs> oh, yeah.
Yes, payday. I, yes, I was thinking of payday. It was that. It was giving me that vibe because it was like I'm here to steal a key. Good to go. No. Easy in, easy out. That's our ride. Interesting. Gameplay? Anyone? That was Exoborn. I met with the team at Gamescom to take a look at that upcoming tactical open world extraction shooter. And the project is led by no, some of the creators of the bro, Division. I... Besides facing other players and warrant Oh factions, man, I know they said graphics the cards future, are now more affordable, but so my gosh, I can't afford a 4090. Say, bro, if I buy a 4090, I might as well upgrade my whole computer. Now please welcome the voice of Loki in Asgard's Wrath 2, one of the most ambitious and anticipated VR games yet, Matt Mercer. Who? What? Loki? Hey there. Uh, <laughs> I am so beyond excited to show you this trailer for our Asgard. <laughs> How much is a 4099? Working with the Sanzaru team and bringing Loki to life. It's just been absolutely amazing. Bruh, Hoshi. And, uh, playing Asgard's Wrath 2 as a lifelong gamer, I'm honestly blown away so uh i'm honored to be a part of this franchise when tax over imported things are now e games, are at 80 uh, percent holy shit so why is it so high Let's enjoy the trailer for adsgard's wrath 2 the gods take everything from mortals True. How much is a 4090? Bleed these lands dry. Bro, the Marvel's nice Loki is like hot, but if you look at actual mythology, Loki is supposed to be ugly. <laughs> you allowed Loki to deceive you. Now his chaos reigns. <laughs> The universe yeah, but not Marvel's Loki. It looks like with each actual mythological look you Loki. Grow stronger. Cartoonicized. What the heck? Dutiful guardian. What the? Oh. Here's around 13,000. Holy cow. Honestly, it looks like... Wow. Like, graphic-wise, it looks like wow. <laughs> Or is it just me? Your fate is mine. All right? Oh my gosh. No. Hashi is actually like freaking packing cash though. He throws bits at me like almost every day. <laughs> Foolish mortals. Oblivious to the chaos that awaits you just outside. I tell Hashi to like settle down sometimes, you know? Than you think. <laughs> and then not only that, he has... <laughs> he's going on vacation for, for games, two months. For like that's game. crazy to right me. Right now we have an exclusive look at the highly anticipated new series, Fallout. Oh, hello there. Now, how about we two months vacation? Or I could get barely get like two weeks vacation. Oh, this is the Netflix Fallout series. <gasps> okay, if I'm ever gonna watch this, I'm gonna watch it for the dog. Well, you know what they say. Yeah. War never changes. I don't want to set 
beautiful world. From Fallout, please welcome Aaron Moten, Ella Purnell, and Walton Goggins. Yo, that cosplay though is sick. I love a good cosplay when I see one. I hope you don't mind, we brought a little extra security. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Nobody we clap are for him. For to I'll clap Empire for him. <laughs> what our real honor tonight is that we're here to hand out the award for best adaptation. What? What, dude? Well, it says our bosses are here. What? What? <laughs> huh. yeah, there they are. Oh! Hey. Jonathan, no, Mr. Howard. Good catch, buddy. Oh, that was so sad. He waved and nobody clapped for him. Somebody give that man a hug. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go. Okay. So this year, video games and film and television were bigger and better than ever before. Here are the nominees for best adaptation. Best adaptation. <laughs> Get the Howard guy out of here. Ooh. They're doing best animation. All I ever wanted to do is be a racer. Mm -hmm. If you don't there's hope for the world, my father gone. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Gran Turismo. Wait, nope. Super Mario Bros. movie. Animation? Years ago, the world fell, but that's where the cars and guns come in. Uh, wow, wow. Uh, the Super best Mario. Game goes to The Last of Us. What? I never even heard of the movie until now. <laughs> Bro, I did not. I've never heard of like the series. I've never even heard the series. I've only heard uh, of the game. The clock's ticking. Uh, shout out to my partner in crime, Craig Mason, who's watching up in Canada, getting ready for season two. Uh, huge thank you what? to There's our Naughty Dog family. Two? This wouldn't exist what without all heck? your incredible hard work. I think I live under uh, a rock, big thanks chat. thanks to HBO. And I officially live under a rock. And a lot of big thanks to our Last of Us Yeah, bro, The Last of Us is amazing. So Don't much. get me wrong. Uh, we also want to thank but our partners like... at Sony Pictures. A uh, special shout out to Carter Swan and the whole PlayStation production Where team. Where have I been? And everyone at PlayStation. It's Thanks been so much. out Thank for you. a while. <laughs> and they started making <laughs> For reals though, Endless. For reals. But that's not just like, I'm tired of video games. Oh yeah, 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 no. The second, um, The Last of Us 2 is like, even I don't like it, and I haven't even played it. And from just a single thing I heard about it, I immediately was like, I will never, ever touch The Last of Us 2. They kill off. Uh, what was it? Oh shoot, shoot. Yep. Should have never existed. Yeah. Bro, just Last of Us one. You know. I will never even watch the second one. Just keep it at the first game, and we'll leave it at that. Yes. What is this? It looks like a mobile game. It is a mobile game. Look at me. How am I getting this right? When I was younger, struggling with who I was, what my place was, I took a lot of that anxiety and put it into making games. <laughs> oh shit, I've thank you for the bits. Well, guess what, everybody? 
hindsight is a no acoustic thing acoustic, acoustic. you're gonna be down on the last one you don't do it something that happened it's not worth life. it keeping that and you've already used four out of, of your five whenever someone tells me that they've cried from something that i've made it's always when people cry is where i feel oh my gosh yes, this i want to keep doing that i want to keep making people feel things uh, 2013 was when no man's sky was revealed ain't that crazy <laughs> 2017 was when it was released. I sure you shook a stick. Who here has played No Man's Sky? Has it really, uh, what is it, improved? Because when it first came out, there was so much hype, only to be like let down. King <laughs> Ed's up from stream. <laughs> Thank you for the bits and love. You played it? Has it improved from its initial launch? I might get No Man's Sky, we'll see. Let's stop playing, to be honest. That's what I heard. Like, the last thing I heard about No Man's Sky is just it's tedious, it's the same world over and over again. But I don't know about now, you know? Better Starfield? This guy right here, Sean Murray. Better than Sean, Starfield? Uh, or like is Starfield better? I, I don't understand, Drew. But what does the next decade look like for Hello Games? Well, to start with, uh, next year is going to be a really big year for No Man's Sky. Like you said, oh. it's been like 10 years now. <laughs> now that's saying I a lot. I still really love it. still really enjoy but it. But then it, wait, no, it's not saying a lot. It's not that hard to beat Starfield. Years, working on something new. I've seen gameplay. Oh, yeah. Another game. Yeah, something very different, something maybe more ambitious, um, you know, for... Uh, Here we go. <laughs> Sounds better than Uh Well, for No Man's Sky, we generated a whole universe of kind of sparse, alien-looking planets, and that <laughs> wasn't easy, you know, it was hard. But and then you stop playing No Man's Sky. Uh, Sounds game, about right. We wanted to create an Earth. Um, you know, Space game is really a hit or miss. Like if it's not horror, something um, it's really a hit or miss. Something with, you know, mountains, real mountains, not video game mountains, but mountains that are miles high, taller than Everest. Okay, dude, so we get it. Mountains. Climb to the top of them and look out, you can see rivers and canyons and continents. You know, you can see Whoa. oceans. So you it's just like an open world planet kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, the first real open world, right? Something without boundaries. Uh, and we're going to let everyone play in it together. It's, you know, a place where people can live out their sort of adventures together. Well, we can't wait It'll be to interesting. Uh, take a look at it. We, we have anything tonight or future? Or? <laughs> yeah, you think so, they're ever... So we have a trailer. They're oh, um, coming out with a new Skyrim? And, you know... It's quite a small team that's working on us. Yeah. There's about a dozen of us. We're actually, everyone's here. The, the, everyone from the team is here. Oh, uh, we're shit. Haven't uh, seen it yet. We're very excited to share this. You and I have been talking about this one for years. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're super nervous, you know, but uh, really excited. <laughs> if, you know, people okay, like okay, it, next Skyrim. I'm like sorry. Updating 10 years from now. All right, so Game Awards 2033. <laughs> We'll be back, but no, uh, let's take a look. This is such an incredible project and I'm honored that we get to show it off. Should we, should we do it, Sean? Yeah, let's do it. Here we go. Um. Oh shoot, it's so broke. Holy cow, I was not expecting that. <laughs> All in-game footage. Bro, this is all in-game footage right now, chat. I better see this. I'm gonna remember this. I'm 
<laughs> Is this the new Minecraft? Is it Minecraft 3.0? It's, it doesn't look bad. Th that's the thing. It actually looks really cool. And I hope the game does look this cool, you know, when it comes out. A lot of times is what would happen. They would advertise for this cool looking thing. And then to be let down to it looking crappy on game release. Wagon? Bro, I would totally buy this. Rabbit? Yo. Light no fire. Yeah, honestly, I'm interested because of dragons Remember, that comes from and an graphics. Team. Absolutely incredible. I've been waiting for years to show that to you. And uh, again, created by the team of Hello Games. Because it's so, very uh, big and by very, yourself, very it's getting I'm overwhelming. To, uh, that is true. That like is that true. That endless. Show kind of the next decade of where games are going to and hopefully TGA I'm going to find people to now play join it. me in welcoming to, to the stage actor me. Simu Liu Who? What's up everybody? How y'all doing tonight? That's some California oh God, so like how y'all so, doing tonight? So beautiful. Um, all right, first off, I want to address the elephant in the room. Um, my foot's fine, you guys. I I did tear my Achilles. Uh, I wasn't riding a dragon. I was playing I couldn't recognize the Southern and... I wish, I wish there were a better story to this, you guys, but the story is this. Um, you know, as you age, as you get older, you know, particularly Dude, as you worse. cross the 30 threshold, your body starts to break down, all right? Things start happening. Oh, um, I'm unless old. you're Anthony Mackie, for whom I I'm think the old, laws of aging Jack. don't apply. I'm, um, I'm Guys, old. just if you're not Anthony Mackie, learn to appreciate the importance of stretching. All right, it's very important. Um, just keeping it real at the Game Awards. All right. <laughs> now I'm I'm here to share something that I'm I'm really really excited about. Man, I recently got a chance to team up with Frost Giant on their new real-time strategy game Stormgate. Now RTS is a genre that I was absolutely obsessed with as a kid. I loved building armies and obliterating my enemies in Age of Empires, Command and Conquer, and of course, my absolute all-time favorite game, StarCraft. Oh. Yes. So happy you guys cheered for that. Um, now, if you've been destroyed by carriers and void rays on Vita at any point over the past 10 years, that was definitely your boy. Uh, and that's why okay. I'm so excited for I guess I never played any Storm RTS. Games. Actually, I never played strat. any games at all. I understand, all right? Like, but I loved it. Prior to Look, now. That's why so. I love Stormgate. It was made by a team of ex-Starcraft developers the games. who are just as obsessed with RTS as I am. And in addition to competitive and co-op modes in the game, it's got an ongoing campaign that was written by Frost Giant with a little help from the legendary Chris Metzen. And so, yes. I brought a little bit of gameplay for y'all and the first reveal of a pretty hey, badass new character who uh, I may or may not have I like I like Let's using y'all. Y'all right? Who's y'all favorite game so far? Oh man, it is late. Don't worry. I'll be up then. Believe. If I'm not, spam my Discord. Bro, I'm just waiting. Do you think they're gonna like say something about Elden Ring DLC tonight? Like, 
Boy, if they said anything about Elden Ring DLC tonight, I am gonna sleep my happy ass to bed tonight and dream about Elden Ring. Man. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> See? Pretty good, right? Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> and uh, and now it's time to hand out the next award. Here are the nominees for best action adventure game. Oh, finally. Best action adventure game. You are the killer. I don't want to be in the story. Just write me out. Action of the story. adventure. This is something else. Spider Man 2. Do we have like any other You're games so besides these? Resident Evil 4. Cleansing. How could you let the galaxy fall to the RE4. I feel like it's gonna be RE4. It's definitely gonna be RE4. No, don't say Alan Wake, bro. Alan Wake was not. And the game no, goes RE4 to... needs to at least win no one. Here. Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Okay, I can't be mad at Tears of the Kingdom, but whoa! <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> I'm so glad to be able to be here to accept this reward, this award on behalf of everyone who worked together to create this game. Yeah, I'm fine with Tears of the Kingdom. Like, I'm... It's definitely an action adventure. Everyone on the development but team truly, uh, Tears of the Kingdom uh, leans in, more in towards the adventure the side. Doesn't it? プレイヤーの皆さん、それぞれのユニークなゲームプレイが皆さん独自のハイラルの物語となります。His <laughs> script is ready in case they won. Yeah. Everyone's unique approach to playing this game uh, can become their own personal story uh, as an adventure through the lands of Hyrule. And to all the players, you have my sincere thanks. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Everyone, everyone who's won an award so far turn towards the, the announcer the before they do RPG, a complete 360 Baldur's to go to three, where they're supposed Final to go. Fantasy 16, Baldur's P, Gate 3! Definitely. And the game award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's Gate 3. Easy. Here are the nominees for best sim strategy game. Advanced Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp, City Skylines 2, Company of Heroes 3, Fire Emblem Engage, and Pikmin 4. P Pikmin 4. And the game award goes to... Pikmin 4. Pikmin 4. Yes! <laughs> Here are the nominees for best sports racing game. EA Sports FC 24, F1 Forza Motorsports, Forza Motorsport, because apparently two, that's the most accessible and one. Motorfest. And this year, the game award goes to... Forza Motorsport. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the nominees for best multiplayer this year are Baldur's Gate 3, Diablo 4, Party Animals, Street Fighter 6, and Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Goes to Baldur's Gate 3. What the fudge? <laughs> and a pretty good night. Here are the nominees for our Flip Player's the table. Voice Award, 100% voted by the fans, Baldur's Gate 3. Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty Baldur's Gate Genshin 3 Impact, Marvel's Spider-Man 2 what? and the Legend Tears of Zelda of the Kingdom Tears never of the Kingdom. spoke and the game award goes to Baldur's Gate wow! 3 Congratulations the table. Let's take a look now at this spectacular celebration of mobile <laughs> gaming on Sphere from Google and Genshin Samsung Moss? Yeah <laughs> Bro, you know what's hilarious? Tears of the Kingdom was there, but like Link never spoke. Only Zelda did. Or was am I am I interpreting it? Please 
look, he's going well, lady. Yeah. Man, at this rate, Baldur's Gate 3 is just taking home all of the awards. Like, let's be real. Baldur's Gate 3 has the most awards. Alan Wake is getting the second most awards. Yeah, I don't know the third one. Oh my gosh. Mother's 3 is just taking it. Yeah? Wait, did it happen with Elden Ring? I don't remember. Anyways, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna grab something to eat and drink some water. And raise the restroom. ジャムセッションも悪くないわね。うさって。軽視できないな。頑張ろう。そうしよう。そろそろ始めていいか。Nicotine addiction can make stress worse. We still got some awards to hand out. Timothy Chalamet will be here to help. And we have some more world premieres, including this one. It's all to come to my attention, and I'll be damned if I know what to make of it. Some sort of crystal. Enlightened souls. Forged great and terrible weapons called the Iconoclasts from which I got What did I miss? Away. What did I miss? Them against each other in the Magitek War. It seems somebody's woken this place up. The question is. Who? It's still going on with Perhaps ads? The iconoclastic defense system. I have a feeling we're about to find out. And that we will not like the answer. Then we'd better cut this short. Welcome, my friends, to Mysidia. eating right now okay so don't mind my model Experience going up and down but for the final battle in final man, fantasy 16 i do want to play of the Fallen, which too. is out tonight on playstation 5 there's a shadow drop for you now to present our next award best game direction please welcome one of our industry's greatest creative forces the it looks of call so of duty cool. and global gm for star wars jedi 
Battlefield, Titanfall, and Apex Legends, Vince Sampella. Who? What? Wait. He's some voice actor? All right. Good evening, everyone. So, game design can be chaos. Actually, let me rephrase that. The best game design is almost always part chaos, right? Uh, today, it's really normal for teams of hundreds to work for years on huge open worlds that are condensed into one package. When that chaos has somehow been harnessed into a cohesive artistic expression, that's great game design. So tonight, I'm proud to present the nominees for Best Game Direction. Best Game Direction. How do you run for a story that lives in your head? Together, Baldur's Gate 3. Survive. I'm calling it right now. about is how to be a better Spider-Man. How to help you. What a beautiful day! I am eating Link, burger steak. You must find me. <laughs> Amazing. The winner is that's that's what it's translated oh. to in English. Alan Wake too. What? Really? Oh my god. Bro, I'm telling you, it's just gonna be between Baldur's Gate and Alan Wake. But like, the thing is, I haven't seen a lot of Alan Wake stuff uh, to really be like, Oh my gosh! Yes, it should deserve this Hector, award! Nicole, for believing in our vision. Uh, Crazy vision. <laughs> Crazy vision, yes. Direction is nothing without a team to actually build it. And, and huge thanks to Remedy team for joining us on this venture, wanting to believe, believe in it and, and, and build it. Uh, you know, we can pull into different directions and, and nothing comes out Bro, of it. Bro, I'm betting you when right now. More than 100 people. It's between uh, Alan Wake and Baldur's Gate for and, Game of the Year. Build something out of it. We can make miracles. We can make art and we can be more than the sum of our parts. Uh, our world today could use a bit more of that. Uh, one other thing, uh, next Monday, December 11th, uh, New Game Plus, the final draft is going to be coming out. <laughs> New story content, uh, so yeah, go play it, thanks. Like, thank you, thank you, Game Zelda Award. doesn't stand a chance. Spider-Man 2 has gotten no awards so far. Please welcome mm -hmm. Gustav Tillaby, the creative director of the finals. Yeah, no, but like, bro, they like, I feel like Zelda could have won more than it should. When we started building this game, we set a bold vision for ourselves. We said that if we're gonna make a shooter, it needs to be unique. It needs to be something that no one else is doing. Standing here today, I'm so proud and grateful for the amazing team at Embark Studios who helped make this crazy dream a reality. And of course, to all of you, our amazing players, watching you play the finals has been the most gratifying experience of my entire career. You're not just a part of this journey, you guide us and you inspire us, and I love you for that. Now, let's watch our latest trailer and keep your eyes peeled for the launch date at the very end. It might be sooner than you think. Thank you, and enjoy. For a moment, I got excited there because I thought it was a new Yakuza game. <laughs> it 
It looks like Fortnite with better graphics. That's right, the finals is out tonight on Steam, Xbox Series X. Oh my gosh, it's coming out tonight. After the show, Let's get it. Sure to check out the Game Awards. Season 1's coming. All month, fans have been voting for their favorite we got exclusive perks. Uh, I don't and know. The winner is I'm not a big fan Pope. of Battle Royale, though. You can portal to the winning island from our TGA map. And while you're there, collect all the TGA trophies for an XP boost. We want to help you unlock those Peter Griffin skins. The island code is below. Still to come, the presentation of Game of the Year, featuring our, our orchestral salute to the nominees. Wait till you see Baldur's Gate. You'll never want to leave. Twitch for which mobile game you're hyped for in 2024. After the show, check out the TGA Post Show on Twitch where Google Play will reveal the winner of its Play More Award. Awesome. Thanks, Sydney. Well, now it's time you know for what tonight's makes me sad? final world premiere. Carlatch doesn't right, see me as a love interest. Show, and this After one, I flirted with her. I will let speak for itself. Oh my gosh! It's mobile games! I love mobile games! No, but if I look online, then her love for me is not well deserved. I just gotta get my Riz up a lot better, you know? <laughs> We'll be right back. I'm just gonna pass my food. I'm done.
Please welcome to the stage Monster Hunter series producer, Ryozo Tujimoto. It's so great to have you here at the Game Awards. We got to hang out in Osaka earlier this fall where you showed me the gameplay. You gave me a demo of the game, and wow, I gotta tell you guys, it looks incredible. Everyone wants to know, we saw 2025. Uh, when do we get to play this? はい、えっと、ようやく発表することができました。え、モンスターハンターの新作です。え、こちらですね、え、9月にゼウスさんにも見ていただきましたタイトルなんですが、え、現状ですね、2025年リリースを目指して開発しています。Thank you, Jeff. I'm very happy to finally be able to announce this title to everyone. Uh, this title back in September, we were happy enough to show it to you as planned for release in 2025. Wow. Uh I think everyone wants to know when do they get to see more on this? Any sense of when we're going to see more on this game? はい、え、こちらのタイトルの続報はですね、え、2024年の夏頃、え、現状予定しておりますので、え、しばらくちょっとお待ちいただけたと思っております。え、それとですね、え、今年、え、カプコンがですね、40周年を迎えさせていただき
Did Spider-Man 2 win anything too? Oh, that's so sad. RE4 didn't win anything. Oh. I thought it was a pretty good game as a remake, you know? Ah, mm. uh, uh. Bro, it's definitely gonna be between Alan Wake and um, Baldur's Gate 3. But I can foresee Baldur's Gate 3 winning. Yeah, they did do a good job with the remake. <sighs> Y'all tired? They're also like poop tired. And the game of the year is Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thunk? Oh my gosh, nice! GG chat. Chat is the winner. GG easy as it should. Honestly, everybody saw it coming. Like, Baldur's Gate 3 is such a good game. I didn't expect it anymore. Um, thank he you. didn't expect thank it, so but shows up in the uh, full armored set. Game really Game didn't expect it. It's impossible if you don't have an incredible team working on it. And the team at Larian spent their hearts and souls for six years uh, on this game in sometimes very difficult circumstances. This was our COVID game. Um, along the way, we, we lost quite a few people also. So we want to dedicate this uh, to all the people we lost, and especially. Uh, to Jim, our lead cinematic uh, artist, uh, who passed away uh, in the, uh, last month. Give him a hug. Um, I want to thank over 2,000 people, so sit back and relax. Uh, but uh, I also uh, want to thank everybody that supported us throughout this entire uh, effort. Uh, our families, our friends, our partners. Uh, you were the best, and without you, we couldn't have done it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah! <sighs> Great game, guys. Never finished the game. Bro! Congratulations to all of tonight's winners. We'll GG, see you next year easy game of the awards. Game awards which I'm happy to announce. We'll return right here to the Peacock Theater on Thursday, December 12th. Easy chat. Oh my god. Happy holidays. Good night. GG, no re. No cap. No balls. <laughs> Thank you to everybody who stayed with me watching the Game Awards. Seriously, thank you. It made it so much more fun watching this. 